Well, hello everyone. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and bees do me. Welcome to Southeast Louisiana. Well, folks, I gotta say, bees do me. Why do bees do me? Because they're controlling my day. I told y'all I went on vacation, so I got myself behind. So I've got the last little bit of catch up to do. So what do I need to do? I need to finish what I started. So I made the assessment video. I realized that almost all of my colonies had solid honey in the tops. I'd say 90%. Honey in the tops and uh, loaded. And then putting nectar in, you know, and filling the nest up a little bit, backfilling some. There was enough brood and everybody was growing. Everybody looked good except for the three colonies I said were weak. But outside of those weak ones, uh, everybody else looked good. So some, some colonies, super strong, needed splits immediately, so I had to do a couple walkaways. Um, but other than that, everybody was, you know, running at a, at a pretty good level for what I like at this time of year. So I'm not pressured to get these splits done um, because I need to grasp some queens or at least get a hold of the commercial guy up in Mississippi and go get some cells. One way or the other, I have not had time and will not have time for at least eight or nine more days to go get those cells or to get something grafted. So I had to do two walkaways in town, showed one of those on video. And what I explained in that is, look, I usually do, uh, the last couple years I've changed my management strategies and done cells. Uh, and that puts me, when I split in the mid-March time frame, that puts me two weeks ahead of time. Well, I'm still two weeks from mid-March, so doing walkaway splits isn't the end of the world for me. It's still going to accomplish what I started a few years back, a couple years back, which was have a laying queen in all my production hives by the 1st of April so that when mid-April comes, I've got a workforce beginning to peek out into the privet flow while I'm adding supers in April and then you know come may we can do the swap pull the honey supers be ready for the tallow all that good stuff so i still have two more splits to do here at home but i might do them this weekend and what i'm doing today and what i did a couple days ago was open up the nests you may have heard me in another video saying i'm opening up the nests what i mean by that is getting so much of that honey out and putting in empty frames uh, still still pretty busy that's why the bees are doing me they're they're keeping me going because i am not ahead of them right now uh, because I went on vacation, but I enjoyed my vacation. So let's get busy. I'm gonna show you how I'm opening up the nest. Real simple thing. Let me get rolling. I got my list of what colonies. Let me let me say that real quick. What I said in my assessments is, I go through all the colonies, and I make notes on my uh, phone really quick, and then I go back in and log all my notes of what needs to be done to each one. If it's something simple, I do it during the assessment so it's finished and it's out of the way. But other than that, what I do is I make the notes so that I can go back the next day or the next week or whatever and go back to just the colonies that need attention. And that's what I do. I got my list. I know who needs all this open space. I don't have to do anything but go out and make open space and a couple little uh, tasks that, that need to be done. So that's what I got. I got my list ready to go. Join me out in the bee yard here just a second. Let me shoot up and get a smoker going and get all my that's equipment good. out. So anyway, we're going to open up some colonies. That's what I call it. Basically, I'm making space, just like I would to keep them from swarming in the mid-spring. Anyway, what I have out here is a stack of boxes. As you can see, three, the three on the bottom are all drawn comb. Old comb, drawn comb from either dead outs or combines or reductions or whatever I did. Some of them were honey supers over it. Well, none of those were, but I got some deep honey supers I used last year when I ran out. And what I'm going to do is just go in and take out honey and put in empty frames. Now, they are gonna fill those empty frames, most likely with nectar, even though I wanna give a place for the queen to lay. But that still solves the issue. They're bringing in nectar now and beginning to backfill the nests. Not good, not good at all. So by doing this, even if they put nectar up top, at least when brood emerges in the bottom, my queen can go back and lay until they get straightened out and really begin to explode. They tend to really consume a lot of nectar as they get stronger and stronger built up because this nectar we have now is not some kind of nectar flow that we're going to make honey off of. This is a, just a real, it's more than a trickle, but it's, it's not even a moderate one. But it's, it's just enough where it can cause swarming really quick because this is when they swarm. But they can consume it really quick. It's, it's not like it's a stockpile. So 
we get this all the way through the mid part of April. So for a month, a month and a half, it's fighting swarm control. So that's why hard splits really seem to work good for me. Um, but that's what we're gonna do. So because I have notes, I already know the, the hives I don't need to touch. But I have to do these three. I've already done all the ones in the yard. All of these are done. Uh, I didn't have to touch all of them. I had notes saying who needed uh, to be gone in and who didn't. I got all the ones over there. So what I'm gonna do is just get the rest of these. All the ones in town are done. So that's good. Um, the bees are hopping. Well, they're really just flying. They're really getting after it. I think this one was a bit ugly the other day. So I'll give them a good hard smoke there. Let that smoke sit for a second and then I'll open it up. Double check our lid. But like I said, most of my boxes have solid honey. All right, let's see what we got in here. Probably honey, honey, and more honey. So that frame. So don't worry about taking too much from them because there's enough nectar coming in now. They'll be fine. Um, but not to the point where I'd rob every bit out. See? All fresh nectar and honey, that's one will definitely come out. So here's where it gets kind of crazy because I begin to shake bees a lot. Actually, what I need to do, the other day what I did was I just pulled the frames until I got to what I wanted to take out. Then I started shaking. I probably need to go back to that. Like, for example, this has got some pollen, a little bit of brood, drone brood, obviously, with honey on one side. So I would scoot this one to the edge and leave it. <laughs> Smoker is in my way. I know this one needed some. All right, there's some pollen and, and brood. So this one's got a decent nest in the middle. Still has room. Larvae being capped. So it gives me time. Yep, brood. So let me see what I wrote on my notes. I might have mixed this one up because the other day I did move frames around here and there to be sure I had. Let's see what I got for it. Oh yeah, see I put a frame or two in the top as well. So there you go. This is one that didn't need much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one back. Give him some smoke. The queen's probably up there. No reason to disturb her. Look at the bees. Come, man, this thing is full of bees. And uh, I'm going to give him this comb. And then they're actually going to get split. Probably in another week to 10 days. If you can see all the bees. I'm really wanting to push some of these to when I get cells. That's that's my goal. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. So tell you what I'm going to do. Let's see how much honey I got on the side. My note says I centered this nest because it was way off center. And I said they needed two or three frames. Definitely taking one from them. This is empty, but a little bit of nectar. I think this one's okay. I'm going to put one frame in. It said one or two or two or three, so. Let's see. That's nectar. And that's nectar. So, yeah, I'm going to take two. What I'll do is I'll slide this one over. See, this is mostly nectar and honey too. So really, it could use a couple more. So there's the first brood. So we're gonna give them three. So what we'll do is begin to shake.
So that's it, folks. That's what I'm doing. Let me get these last couple done. Then we're going to go move that triple stack nuke into a deep 10 frame so we can at least get them started onto production in the spring. Here we are, guys. We're at this triple stack nuke. I was over there rearranging. Ended up getting dark into some weather moving in. I thought this was going to be later. It's not coming in now, but I want to get this in a 10 frame because the two top nukes are full of honey and they're going to explode if I don't watch out. So we need to get these bees into a 10 frame deep at least and those over there man i had some bees stirred up i went ahead and replaced a few broken boxes and started setting up my builder a little bit uh but this thing's full of honey so i'm gonna take the honey boxes off then we're gonna take the brew chamber out of the way and put a 10 frame box right in this spot so I, I don't know what the condition of these bees are. I did not go all the way down into this box the other day. Uh, yeah, it's all brewed. It's light. So let's get them, get them in a tin frame. Spend a little time over there replacing a rotten box. Just go ahead. Stick it right here for now. All right. Now y'all seen me do this many times, those that have watched for a while, but what I like to always do is see if I can see the queen when I transfer. Just makes you feel better about it. But at the same time, it's getting dark. The bees have started robbing a little bit with the honey all out, so I need to kind of get moving. Maybe I did open it up and realize it was just brewed. I don't remember. But yeah, this is pollen and brood. So I'm gonna do a quick glance for the queen. There's pollen on the back side. Perfect. It's gonna reverse this nest this way. Just toward the middle. Give them some empty frames. Give them two frames of honey and that's it. That'll that'll keep them for a while. Make sure we don't have any old cups. Oh yeah, she's laying it up, huh? Another quick glance for the queen. A lot of pollen in this one. Right in the center. But I'm gonna give them some frames. Slide this one down. I need to move them over. I'll slide them in a minute. This was a utility nuke that I never needed. This was just a spare hive to have around, a colony to keep on hand. I'm gonna put this to the outside. It's pollen, mostly. But I never needed it, so I ended up just stacking nuke boxes on top and keeping it around. Another pollen frame with larvae spread throughout the pollen. Oh, there's the queen. Okay, there she is. Oh. Y'all can see her right there, I think. Oh, she's on, she's moving. She's on the move. All right, let's get her in here really quick. So I'm gonna get this out of the way now. She's in there. I can kind of get after it. I want to be careful with her. And this one, it's a wide open brood frame. There's a lot of pollen in here. And then I'm going to give her some empties and two honey. All right. So I got a few other frames I'm going to put in. One there. Nice one. Well, it's not great. I'll put that toward the inside. And I also put this one in. I'll put this one here. Ooh, these already got on that. I'll put this one here. What we're going to do is slide it to the center and put two honey frames in from their existing box. That's it. it gives them plenty of time to grow on up. In the next couple of weeks, we'll watch them. We're saying about three weeks. Just gauge on how things roll around here. We'll be putting them in a, uh, uh, a second deep. So we're going to put one of their honey frames in. It'll go easier. A lot of bees piled up. They're all disoriented. I want to get this thing closed up. Unfortunately, i got to shake the rest of the bees off. But I want to get this done today. Let's give them another honey frame on this side. A little bit of brood in this one, actually. That's good. There 
there we go. Now they're light, so I gotta watch I don't starve them. Yep, they're very, very light, so gotta be sure that we don't have any issues with those bees uh, running out of food as they're doing this big buildup. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, things are really, really building up. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys on that video really what I do as far as when I say I'm opening up a colony. That's what I do when I open up a colony. I give them room, I give them space. Now, the issue we have is Blackberry is going gangbusters, folks. It's going gangbusters right now. And uh, it's early, like two weeks. Everything has been two weeks early. Last year, we were two weeks late. So we filled a lot of Blackberry in our supers because we supered at the beginning of uh, April. But Blackberry was late. Didn't have a privet flow, so the Blackberry saved us. Now we're early two weeks, so I'm seeing backfilling in nests already, so I know a lot of that opened up right there is going to be uh, backfilling. So uh, even though I open them up, they'll put nectar up there, but I still give them room. I give, I give them somewhere for the next week or so to do something, uh, but they had to be opened. Tons of honey, man. Ooh, that was a lot of honey. So we got it all out of the hives. Everybody's opened up. Got that nuke put down into a 10 frame. That thing's going to explode. Man, did you see her pattern? She's, she's got a, a great pattern. Um, it's going to be... A very very busy time in the next few months so uh, I should have a lot of content I should have a lot going on it's gonna be impromptu videos it's gonna be videos where I'm planning this stuff it's gonna be videos where I plan stuff that goes completely different but anyway assessments and hive openings and all that stuff is done we've got all the space in there that we can give them for now I still got plenty more drawn comb if I need to give them more but hopefully we're not it's kind of my way of equalizing in a way even though I'm really not equalizing but you know so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was just throwing in some drawing comb, pretty elementary, but you know, trying to take you along on some sort of a vlog. Got a new job, so things are a little tight with time, trying to get stuff done, doing a lot of stuff during the week. So there's days I just gotta get out and do it and maybe can't take you with me, but I'm gonna try to take you guys with me most everywhere I go. And so with that said, this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.